Internet users primarily on the East Coast were hit by what officials are calling a cyber attack that affected major sites such as Twitter and Amazon. The cyber attack hit the server infrastructure of a New Hampshire high-tech firm that works with companies such as Twitter, Netflix, and Visa, among others. Yeah, so we want to talk uh, with our tech expert, Ryan Eldridge. And, and Ryan, I want you to kind of clear things up for uh, people who are watching right now, because it wasn't actually Twitter itself that was attacked, right? Correct. About 7.10 this morning on East Coast time, uh, there was an attack on a, on a okay. DNS server uh, called a DYN. And, and essentially what, what happened was uh, the DNS server is what is used to resolve IP addresses versus what we're used to typing in, like a domain name. So it's, it's kind of like the uh, a yellow pages or a white pages for the Internet. We type in www.twitter.com, we see Twitter, and we think, oh, everything's working great. Well, in the back end, it's actually using an IP address, you know, 205.268. whatever. And so when we type that in, when we type in Twitter, it has to go out to one of these DNS servers, and then the DNS server actually directs us to the correct place to go. And if these DNS servers get attacked, then all of a sudden we can't resolve, and it looks like we just get a spinning wheel, and we're no longer able to get to the websites we're, we're looking to get to. How easy is it to do it, and uh, have we seen this before? It is. It, we have seen this before. In 2014, uh, the PlayStation Network as well as the Xbox Live Network were taken down by an attack very similar to this. And in 2015, there was a, a, um, a virus that was sent out called the XOD virus that ended up setting up a bot network that was able to be used to take down any server or any website traffic or any web server uh, on the Internet. Here's the interesting thing is, uh, this is actually being reported as the first time that internet uh, connected devices are being used. About a week ago, Homeland Security reported that there was some code that was being released on the internet that would allow uh, thermostats, uh, televisions, any internet connected device to be able to be infected. And then those devices are being used to attack these servers. And the way that denial of service attacks is essentially they're sending a packet of information to a server and then the server tries to respond to that packet of information to say, yeah, here, here you go, here's that thing that you wanted. But unfortunately, it doesn't, the computer that's sending the request doesn't wait for the server to reply. It just sends another request and another and another and another. Mm -hmm. And these botnets are thousands, if not millions of, of different devices from all over the world. And so it's impossible for the server to determine what's good traffic and what's bad traffic. And so it essentially cripples the websites uh, that, that the that DNS server is, is, is serving. Yeah, and that then gets to the impact, right, upon users. So when I go on Twitter, when I go on Netflix, I'm, I'm turned away. Is there any yes. at all worry about my personal information if I go on, if I use Twitter or Netflix, that it was compromised in all of this? No, there's, there's no worry about that. Mm. But there is something that we can all do is this is like leaving your, your car in the driveway with the keys in, mm. in the ignition. Is, is somebody's hijacking your computer or the things that are connected to the internet in, your, in our homes in order to c facilitate these attacks. And this isn't the beginning, this isn't even near the end. This is gonna get worse. And so the way that we can kind of solve this for ourselves is keep our devices updated, make sure that we're running some sort of antivirus, uh, uh, like a web route or something on your machine. You can also uh, get a little box. There's a one uh, company called Bitdefender that makes a Bitdefender box that essentially uh, protects all of the traffic on your network and doesn't allow anything out that you don't authorize. And that would virtually stop these kinds of attacks if, if us as regular consumers were just a little more protected and a little more aware. Can they catch whoever did this? And what's the end game other than to make uh, make all of us miserable? <laughs> well, it's certainly, we're not sure exactly what the purpose of this attack was. Both the FBI and the Homeland Security are looking into it. This could be just simply uh, uh, people being uh, uh, causing havoc and, and, and mayhem, but it could also be something politically uh, uh, that, that they're testing out, getting ready for the elections coming up. It's, it's hard to tell exactly what the motivation is, but the, these these botnets are for sale on the dark web. It, you can you can rent botnets by the hour. You can use them to take down a specific websites. Um, a lot of websites get blackmailed. They say, hey, we're going to take down your website if you don't uh, uh, pay up. And there is a way that websites can can protect themselves. They just put more um, uh, value into their DNS servers. They they essentially will put up more and more. Uh, um, uh, DNS servers around the world to protect themselves. So if one goes down, they can just get right back up again. Uh, Amazon did that today. Uh, a lot of the uh, more adult sites have that sort of thing, and they were protected. So uh, if, if your business is online, you want to make sure that you protect DNS as much as possible. All right. Thanks for the explanation, Ryan. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, nonetheless, it did uh, frustrate a lot of people out there. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Well,